now for dimension also we will create one layer click on layer properties we will give some color to this zero layer also okay new layer dim we'll take some color okay line type is continuous we will make this dim layer current then we will give dimension click on dimension click on this midpoint this midpoint click again next dimension will be this one again click on the midpoint midpoint again click on midpoint now using dimension it is not coming properly we will have to use the align for that click here and choose align give the first point second point and again click on midpoint for location now these dimensions are not properly visible to increase the size click on annotation click on dimension style modify click on fit and from here increase the scale suppose we will make it 10 we will make some other settings also for text we will make it above iso standard primary unit we will choose single zero ok close now it is properly visible we can increase the size more again click on dimension style modify fit make it 15 ok close to make it aligned with these lines click on annotate click on dimension select this oblique option then select this dimension enter then we will have to use the angle of this line for that choose this end point and choose this end point so that it will get automatically aligned with that line same way here dimensions oblique select this dimension enter choose this midpoint choose this end point enter erase this arc e enter erase this enter next is this 4 and 12 for that again from here we will choose aligned to the first point second point location enter Give the first point, second point, location. Then again align it. Click on dimensions, oblique, select this one, enter. Now I want to align with this line. In isometric, this line is at an angle of 30 degree. Give the angle of 30, enter. Again enter. Choose oblique option, select this 4, enter. Now this line need to be aligned with this line. In isometric, this line is at an angle of 150. Give the angle of 150, enter. Then I want to show this internal line. For that give D, enter for dimension style, modify, fit and tick here. Draw dim line between extension line. Ok, close. So it will show internal line. The next is 36 and 64. Again click on aligned. Give the first point, second point, location. And for this 64, we can use the multi-leader. Multi-leader, choose this quadrant point, make ortho off, give the location, choose the symbol of diameter from here, give the diameter of 64. Click outside. Now this multi-leader is not properly visible. To make it properly visible, click here for multi-leader style, then modify. Then click on this leader structure and specify scale of 50. Same as dimension style. Ok. Close. Now it is properly visible. Then we can align it. Select oblique. Select this dimension. Enter. Give the oblique angle of 30. 30. Enter. The next is this 42 and 24. And these two heights. Again click on align, choose this intersection point and this intersection point and again click on this intersection point. Same way enter here, quadrant to quadrant and again click on quadrant. Then to give these diameters, again enter, take this point, this point, give the location, enter this point, this point, give the location. Then make them aligned. 
for that again dimension oblique select this both dimension because their direction is same enter give the oblique angle we want to align in this direction that is 150 degree enter and you can align this with this line for that again oblique select this 36 enter give the angle give this point and this point okay this drawing is ready thanks for watching we will stop here